as our other equation. So whenever you're reading through a problem and you see compounded continuously, you're going to want to write this down. A equals P, P times E to R of T. So A is your final value. P is your initial value. R is your rate. And T is your time. Very similar to what we had over here, right? Just everything's in a little bit different format. So what are, again, if you guys remember, whatever we, I always ask you guys to find what the question is asking. How much will you have in 15 years? So which variable am I looking for? A. Because they tell us what our initial value is. You deposit $5,000 times e raised to the rate. Please remember your rate is going to be in decimal format. So that's going to be 0 0.073. And then times t, which is 15. Now, here's where students make their mistakes. You, when you are doing this, you have to follow the order of operations. Have to follow the order of operations. So we don't have anything inside parentheses, but we do have an exponent, right? The exponent has this power. I need to multiply my powers first. So I'm going to do 0 0.0. 7.3 times 15. That gives me 1.095. <coughs> now, I don't want to multiply 5,000 times e. I got to take e and raise it to the 1.095. So you guys, in your calculator, you guys will have e. It usually has an e to an x or e with a caret. Um, so you're going to want to use e here. So I'll do e raised to the 1.095, and I get 2.989182683. Now, you don't want to approximate this. So I'm going to leave this exact answer here. And you could write it out. Or most calculators that have the e also have the answer button in your function in your calculator. So then I'm just going to do 5,000 times my last answer, which gives me 14,945. How or why? Yeah. You could type out, you could write out the whole answer, but I don't want to write out 2.989182683. And I don't want to round it either, right? So, because banks, they want exact money. They don't want to round you giving the same. And the same thing, I have 91 cents, right? You don't want to round up to the next cent. The, next, the bank is not going to give you extra money just because of rounding, right? They're going to round down. So therefore, you'd have 14000 So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, if you're earning an account, 7.3%, you put in $5,000, you have $14,945 for doing nothing. nothing. Wait. Almost. What exactly is E? E, again, is our constant that represents